Every time a new version of Android comes out, it's only natural that people will want to run it on their Android-powered device, even if it's not a Nexus. Nexus devices usually get the latest version of Android faster than their OEM counterparts, but there are still some things you can do. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Here are some ways that you can get a KitKat experience on your non-KitKat device today. This is our HTC One Max, the Sprint variety, if you were curious to know. And as you can tell, we are running Android version 4.3. This is essentially stock out of the box with just our apps installed for benchmarking and being able to show you what's here and what's cool. So nothing uh, new or fancy applied. I do have a wallpaper just to show off KitKat, even though we're not running KitKat. Head on over to the Play Store and download the latest version of Google Hangouts, which replaces Talk. If you've got Android version 4.0, which this device does, you're going to be able to get SMS and MMS integration built into the Hangouts client. So this then becomes your pretty much all-in-one communication tool and hub to talk to all of your friends. The next app we need to install is Google Search, not to be confused with Voice Search by Google, though both are kind of nice to have. So go ahead and download and install this. This lets us do a lot of the cool things that KitKat enables with one more piece of cool software. Next, we're going to want to replace our launcher, the stock launcher on our One Max, with the Google Experience launcher or some other launcher that looks like the, uh, the new launcher that comes with KitKat. In this case, there's a forum over on XDA Developers that gives two links to download this. I've already turned on the ability to install APKs from untrusted or unknown sources, so I'm going to go ahead and install this. It's relatively quick and easy, not a lot of permissions that you have to deal with or worry about. Once that's done, we just open it and immediately we're welcomed into the launcher. There's one more thing that we need to do if we want to make this to stick. Press home, it asks us what we want to complete this action with. We are going to choose launcher and say always. Now this is our launcher and we're going to look almost exactly like KitKat with most of the same features in the launcher. Let's take a look. So the first thing you're going to notice is up at the top, we've got our Google search bar with a little hint phrase to say. We'll try that in just a minute. It's got a nice welcome message and then uh, basically a tutorial that shows us how to set this thing up. We kind of already know that, so we're going to just hit OK, a little bit more tutorials, and there we go. At this point, let's say, OK, Google, is it going to snow today? And just like that... Just like that, you can see we have the Google experience, at least with being able to get that information right there from our home screen. Let's see what else we have. Unfortunately, we don't have Blink Feed over on the side. Of course, we switched to a different launcher. We don't have Google Now over on the side either. Next up, we're going to want to get Google Now. The way I did that was, let's come back here to the uh, home screen. I long pressed on my home button and it brought up my search and you can see I've got an option to get Google now so let's go ahead and do that it takes just a moment you'll want to be connected to Wi-Fi or wireless to do this read and then yes I'm in and right there now we have Google now it's setting up for the first time and it's automatically got all of my information in here by the way shout out to Marcus Brownlee Marquise happy birthday man and of course my weather my teams all that fun stuff so now let's take a look. We can pull in from the side and get right to our Google Now, or we can long press and get Google Now by pressing on that home button as well. So no, it's not exactly KitKat, but you're gonna have a hard time telling it apart from everything else. If you found this video helpful, why not throw us a thumbs up? And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you'll want to make sure you do so. We're constantly adding new videos about new products, reviews, news, everything you can imagine. And if you're not subscribed, you're not going to get them in a timely fashion. Also, while you're at it, why not share Pocket Now with your friends? We're on all of your favorite social media networks. My favorite is Twitter, where we're at Pocket Now, and I'm at Joe Levi. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you next time.